53, who admitted raping and killing a pregnant woman, was executed on Thursday with a sedative painkiller combination never used in the United States. The execution took about 25 minutes to complete. According to the Penalty Information Center, which tracks the use of capital punishment, typical executions end in death after about 10 minutes of sleep. As a result, Maguire's constitutional protection against cruel and unusual punishment was violated. This was an experiment, a new experiment. We're unaware of any instance in which these two drugs were used to execute anyone. And we don't think Mr. Mag- Mag- we don't think Mr. Maguire should have been an experiment for the state of Ohio. We want to know where these drugs came from, whether they came from a compounding center that oftentimes are unregulated, and we want to know where those drugs came from. Because we want to know, most importantly, whether those compounding centers or those pharmaceutical companies knew what these drugs were being used for. McGuire's lawyers had argued in court that the drugs put him at risk of severe pain and a terrifying inability to breathe before losing consciousness during the execution. Prison officials said a routine review of the execution will be finished in the next few weeks.